Oh, just catching a little rest. You can't get too much of that Sabbath rest, you know. Welcome to our lesson for today. It's the sixth lesson in Luther's Large Catechism. And this is the first of three lessons that we're going to be looking at regarding the third commandment, the Sabbath rest. That word Luther brings, oh, by the way, teachers, go to group me, staff meeting, message, thread for your answers and response. Uh, members of Green Valley that are using this as their Sunday Bible class, go to the Green Valley Evangelical Lutheran Church Facebook page, and there's a subgroup there, Luther's Large Catechism. If you're already enrolled in it, you can get in. If you can't get in, email us. We'll add your name to that private group. All right? Um, rest is what the Sabbath is all about. And uh, in the Old Testament, Luther says externally, this command was for the Jews. It was similar to the other Old Testament cer ceremonial laws regarding persons, like the special uh, outfits that, that the high priests were supposed to wear, uh, places, times, the different festivals that they were uh, to observe circumstances. What happens if somebody dies? What are you supposed to do about that? Or if somebody is, is a contagious uh, illness, what are you supposed to do about that? Luther says these are all according to the Old Testament Jewish life. They do not pertain to us because he simply says Christ has freed us. We're free in Christ. And um, well, you just stop and think. Uh, we can eat ham. They couldn't. We can uh, wear clothing that's uh, a mixture of fabrics. They couldn't. We can worship on any day we want. They couldn't. How did Christ free us? Romans says Christ is the end of law for all who believe that those Old Testament laws no longer apply to us. Um, so what is the Sabbath for? And here's the big idea. The Sabbath is for hearing God's Word. The Sabbath is for hearing God's Word. Uh, Luther said in our day, um, it is wise to have the Sabbath for the common people, the workers, the laborers, uh, the, the beasts of burden. They need a day of rest to recover from their ceaseless labor, uh, Luther says. And also, since they have that day off, that's the day to hear God's word. For the learned who can uh, have the time to take, take time away from the office, go down to church here, hear the service, go to service once a day. Um, but for the common workers, they don't have that opportunity. So on the Sabbath is when they have the chance to hear God's word. And it's not restricted to a certain time. Um, that's why in, in Christian liberty, we have chosen to have Sundays. But we don't only worship on Sundays. Uh, we can worship on any day of the week, and many churches do. We used to have Monday night services. We'll probably have them again in the future. Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, those don't always fall on a Sunday. Thanksgiving, never. We still have worship services. In our freedom, we can do that. But it's not that it's only rest from work. You see, that's how the um, Jews of Jesus' day had twisted this. They thought if they simply ceased from doing labor, they were keeping the Sabbath. No, Luther says, the Sabbath is for hearing God's word. Uh, even though we worship daily in our prayers and our meditations and reading the Bible, Yet on Sunday, there is that special day for us to come together as the people of God to hear that public proclamation of the gospel. And um, Saturday, uh, Sunday rather, that's what the day is for. Uh, not a day for to get special things done because everybody's in church and I got the house free to myself, uh, but to keep that word of God central in our life. Good luck with the material at hand.